So congratulations, Northumberland Council. You Uh, sea ham guys uh, it's not your typical resort by no means but uh, it's a hidden gem believe me it's a hidden gem for uh, van lifers perhaps not for tourers but uh, it's a good stopover for tourers but uh, it's a hidden gem for van lifers uh, just coming into the village square now there's not a lot there you've got all the shops it's a main town kind of place if there's any amusements to, to, to speak of, it's just a container port, I think. Sun's coming out. You've got all your shops here, guys. Plenty of shops. So it's a great stopover, but it's not a holiday resort. So don't uh, think it's a holiday resort, guys. You can certainly spend some time here. We're just about a mile outside uh, Seaham. It's this left hand turn in here, guys. I'll just show you now. Coming up to it. Little tiny lane, Noses Point, down there to the left. That's where the camp is, hopefully. All this is free uh, camper vans, no charges, three overnight, the council don't mind, the police come down and check, and the cows come down and empty the bins. There's loads of spaces here, guys, and it's a, it's a hidden gem. Honestly, this is a hidden gem in a container port, and it is absolutely beautiful. I just met a lovely couple of girls there in that white van. Uh, what a lovely couple they are. Uh, they, uh, I went and had a chat to them just to see whether it was all right. And I said, yeah, a lot of people went to van life there and uh, they get no trouble whatsoever. They get a bit busy in the summer because apparently there's lots of sea glass and coal down on the beaches uh, that people collect. So it's quite famous for the sea glass because there used to be a glass factory, foundry or something on the coast and it's all washed up on the seashore. So if you're into the sea glass guys, come down here. What a, what a find, what an absolute gem. Look at this guys, completely free. No hassle at all, loads of spaces. But uh, this is a gem guys, This for van lifers anyway. Uh, this is a gem, I mean you could spend a month up there. You've got the town down there for all your supplies. You've got bins up there as well. So it's a perfect van lifers stop. You're gonna stay here for a week or a month or whatever. Lovely jubbly, Seaham on the Yorkshire coast. Called Noses Point. And it tells you a little bit more about it there. A lot going on, a lot of history, a lot of wildlife as well. Yeah, guys, it tells you a little bit more about it. There we go, so many tales to tell. German submarine was sunk just offshore here. Two World War II German bombers lay out in the bay somewhere. Oh, well, loads going on. Absolute loads going on, guys. I'm trying to read any of that freezer frame. Amazing, eh? All in this little container port that you wouldn't normally come to. Crazy. A cracking walk this is absolutely beautiful you wouldn't think it in a, a container port like this guys but uh well that's what you can find it's a lovely camp as well lovely camp over and you can walk for miles and miles along this rugged coast look at this it goes right round i don't know how far we go we'll all have a little walk and have a look up there guys uh, I've come off the footpath up there, I'm on the cliff edge now, walking along the cliff edge, and it is glorious, absolutely glorious, beautiful, about 10 o'clock in the morning, there's a bit of a breeze, it's a bit chilly but not as bad as it has been guys, nowhere near as bad as it has been, uh, it's more tolerable uh, this weather, no, it's not too bad at all. We'll have a look around the pines here. Uh, I need to get a crack on all 
got these cliffs are eroding down here, I think that's why they've uh, put the path right up there. But uh, I'll be walking along the cliff edge. Lovely job. Man. Well, we've even got uh, caves in the rocks, guys. Look at that down there. We've got the sun in front of us, so you won't be able to see it very well. There's a big cave under the rock there. Wow. Stretching right up the coast there into the sunset. Oh, that is glorious. Beautiful. It's a bit of a drop down there, guys. Don't get very close to that edge. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely walk. Beautiful walk. I mean, we live in an industrial area over right there. But this cliff walk goes all the way down the coast there, guys. Into the sunset. It's a lovely different kind of garden thing there. Explain all about archaeology and sandstones and rock formations. A little bit of a garden going on here. There's benches as well. Coastal walk path up there where you can sit down, maybe sarnies and a cup of tea. Very yeah, nice, though. Eh? Well, I think this was just in a container port. So, this is what happens, guys, when you pull over, you go to these places that are not on the map at all for tourists, and then you find some really interesting places. What's this all about? Doors. Jordan's fossil tree, the fossil here is likely to be a remembrance of a species that survived ground hugging plants. Prehistoric trees there go. Knows his point, nowhere like nowhere else like it in Britain. The sea created all these coves and caves. What a beautiful place, and that's the uh, walk there from Seaham. It's part of the Durham Heritage Coast. As you can see there guys, that's the heritage coast there. Beautiful. Right, so we're going over the 
under the Tyne, the River Tyne at Newcastle, the Tyne Tunnel, and the Diablo. Uh, I don't think it's a toll. Here we go, under the River Tyne. Nearly a past four on this lovely uh, uh, remote wall camp uh, overlooking the sand dunes. So, yeah, absolutely lovely. Pitch black outside at the moment. Uh, but we've got 19 degrees outside, inside. Uh, it's about uh, eight degrees outside. Not too bad at all. And uh, just doing my dinner. Is Sky down there? You right, Sky? She just had her dinner. And here's mine, guys. I've just bought a little joint of lamb. You know, those box ones. You just warm up minted lamb with uh, cranberry jelly and a few Yorkshires. I'll have some crusty tiger bread with that. And we might, we might invite Arthur. You think we should invite Arthur? Is Arthur coming for dinner? You damn right he is. A nice can of Guinness. Lovely, what a lovely spot this is guys, so peaceful. Love it. I'll probably see you in the morning if I see you later guys. All the best. Take care. I've got some cranberry sauce on there and some mint sauce as well. Lovely. It is divine. Just uh, show you a chunk of this, guys. It's bloody. Oh. Look at that, guys. Lovely and tender and moist. Oh. Absolutely melts in your mouth. Uh, Chinese piece, I think it was. One of those guys. Absolutely lovely. I mean, if I put veggies and potatoes with this and everything, it would last for two meals easily because there's more than enough meat here for two people. It's bloody gorgeous. I mean, Yorkshire puddings as well, which I've overbaked a little bit, but no mind. Soak them up in the gravy, eh? Lovely. Bit of lamb and Yorkshire pudding. Bloody lovely. That was bloody delicious. Belly full, dinner sorted. Cracking. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. How are we doing? It's a nice sunny day. It's windy though, and the temperatures have dropped again a little bit. Uh, I'm at this lovely remote camp here uh, in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely in the middle of nowhere. And I got a surprise this morning. The first one in 18 months. So congratulations, Northumberland Council, you b Right, I'll show you what's, uh, what's occurred, guys. In this spot that's in the middle of nowhere, empty car park, all night, all day. Crazy, crazy. Right, let's go and have a look where we are. Anyway, it's a lovely camp, guys, I've enjoyed it. Right, and then we'll crack on once we've had a little walk. Come on, come for a walk, let's have a look. Right guys, I know I push my luck with parking, you know, I park in no return bays and all sorts, uh, I get away with it, but uh, I just want to show this sign, it's uh, it's misleading, uh, to me it's entrapment, there it says, no tents, no caravans, overnight, no tents, no caravans, overnight, yeah, I've still got this damn bloody ticket shoved in my window, uh, first thing this morning, this guy playing around there. Uh, yep, my first ever parking ticket, there it is guys, Northumberland Council, you naughty, naughty people, but uh, you know, you got to stick by the law I suppose, but uh, I probably deserve to get done, but there's a sign there, 
And if you see uh, right at the top there, guys, it says Max Stay, 72 hours. Now, it was in the dark when I came. This is all I saw. And at the bottom, it says no tents and no caravans. Just go a little bit closer. And there's tiny little writing there. No sleeping, cooking or camping. Uh, but uh, it says in tents and caravans there. Boy, what are you doing down there? It's looking for mice again. Here we are. It's uh, right on the sand dunes and the walks. Oh, lovely. Absolute. There's trails left and right all along the coast, all the way up there, guys. And uh, down to the other side, to my left, is Amble by the Sea. Uh, there's a nice castle as well in the village, but uh, I ain't going to stay here no more. Uh, they've lost my income down to the village for dinner and looking at the castle. So Northumberland Council can bloody well do one. Oh, look at this. Absolutely stunning. This is really in the wilds. It's a bit breezy. That's why I'm doing a, a bit of a voiceover for you. A bit of a lighthouse out there on a rock. That's nice. What a lovely beach. Look at that rolling tide on the beach. That is lovely. Got some nice sand down there. Some rocks as well. There's Amble just down the road, guys. Only about a mile away. What a look at that blue sky as well. Temperatures have gone up now, which is lovely. A little bit anyway. It's still chilly in this wind. But at least these sub-zero, look at that sunshine. At least the sub-zero temperatures have gone. There's the lovely camp, guys. Middle of nowhere. I've not seen a bloody soul. A couple of dog walkers in the morning. And that's it. No one else has come by. Oh, it's a bit windy, guys. So I do a voice over on most of this. <coughs> it's really windy and really cold. Oh, look at this. It's glorious. Absolutely glorious. This guy's enjoying it. Uh, it's about half past nine in the morning. Got a mangled up lobster pot there. Beautiful. Oh, let's get down on the beach. It's not too windy. Come on, Sky. Come on, get across these. Pebbles without falling on my backside. Onto the lovely sand. Here we are. Coast on the beach. Wow. Oh, a lovely morning walk again. There's bird footprints everywhere, guys. It's stunning. Wow. I was going to explore a bit more than North London Coast, but I've got a crack on the uh, look at this place, guys. What a beautiful beach. Absolutely stunning. This guy's loving it. This guy loves the beach, don't you, eh? You love the beach? You love the beach, eh? Beautiful. Glorious. When that wind stops, it's lovely. But when it blows, oh, it's chilly. Got the surf breaking down there. Absolutely glorious. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to be alive. Except for getting my ticket this morning, which is a pain in the arse. But hey ho, it's not bad for 18, 17 months. I don't mind, but uh, it's still fucking annoying. So lovely, now I got a ticket. Uh, my mistake. Should have got the torch out and looked at the sign properly.
I don't got a pen. What the hell? It's a parking fine, I'm talking about pins. No. Bloody N right. If your parking sign account number starts with N V. I'm sorry, but none of our customer service advisors are available at present. Yeah, dear. What the hell? Yeah, alright guys. Oh, it's about uh, ten o'clock. We're gonna crack on that. Get over here. Bloody Northumberland Castle, what a bunch of... I like to swear guys, but I can't align. Here we go. Tickets, it's a £50 ticket, but if you pay it within, um, I think the uh, period of the licence, it's, uh, it's £25. So £25, you bloody, you cost me, which I could do without, but uh, no mind, that's the first one in the 17 months guys, so we're doing pretty well, 25 quid for all the park ups I've had, so it's not too bad, but it's still a pain in the bloody arse, and especially in a bloody quiet place like this, I'm not hurting no one, I'll clean the area up before I leave and when I come, I'm not doing no one no harm, I'm not blocking no, it's an empty car park, it's in the middle of nowhere for God's sake, it must have been a bloody local that's driven past some here and found up the bloody parking, the council. The little shites. And the crafty way they do that little sign, that is entrapment. That sign over there, guys, is entrapment. It says 72 hours limit, no tents and no caravans. So I parked up, it was dark, and I didn't see the tiny writing that says no sleeping. You crafty little... You crafty little snidey little council. Sorry guys, I don't swear too much. Anyway, let's forget this. Let's get over this. Let's move on guys. Let's get on to the next destination. Right, I'm going to try and crack across now to... Uh, let's get out of Northumberland. <laughs> I was going to do a Northumberland coast further up, but we're cracking on in the, the day now guys. I need to get over to the... Uh, to Scotland, to my lovely, lovely Scott, Bonnie Scotland, up to the Lowlands. Let's get to Galloway. Back on with the journey, guys. So thank you, Northumberland Council, and up yours. Sorry, guys. Welcome to Scotland. Let's give you some bearings of where we are, guys. To seven miles from Dumfries, uh, 90 miles from the Solway coast, uh, Dalbetty. Got Beeswing and Kin Harvey, not far away, the little villages. This is just on the edge of the village, guys. New Abbey. 